Good afternoon. I'm Carl D. Turner, and this is your daily word. The daily word today is they murmured, he provided, and they still failed the test. The thought and the reference for today comes from Exodus 16 1 through 4. Basically, how the story went is the children of Israel were in the wilderness. In, uh, along the journey that God had had, had put them through uh, on their way to the promised land. They got to a point where they were hungry. So they let their hunger uh, overtake them and they began to murmur to God's leadership which was Moses and Aaron. They told him it would have been better for you to leave us in Egypt in captivity under lock and key at least we had a seat by the flesh pots and we had plenty of bread to eat in our captivity so basically what they were saying is we, we'd rather be locked up in four than to be a little hungry and free and have to depend on this God that you believe in for everything that we have to go through going forward in the future they didn't realize, I don't think, a lot of times that they were God's chosen people. And, of course, he had his eye on them at all times. Even in this situation, the Bible doesn't speak of it, but Moses and Aaron didn't, didn't have to answer the people back before they heard uh, before they heard from God Almighty himself. He came to Moses and told Moses, I'm going to just let it rain bread from heaven from the sky i'm gonna let it rain down and then i'm gonna test these people to see if i provide this bread for them will they still obey me or will they still follow my commandments in sense in a, in a sense he was gonna provide them with something and he was gonna test them at the same time and of course once again the children of israel failed to test okay they failed the test. They wasn't obedient uh, to God's word, even in the process to gather the manna and to partake it for their nourishment. They still did not obey God's word. But here's the thought for your life, for your life, at least you need to have a relationship with God. Ask yourself, do I have this relationship? If your answer is no, or if your answer is I'm not sure, then we need to get that fixed first. Because I'm telling you, I know y'all are doing a lot of crying and a lot of murmuring out there. And of course, God knows who you are. He created you. But it's a difference in knowing who you are and having a relationship with somebody. So if you're going to murmur, if you're going to, if you're going to, uh, uh, cry out and, and, and murmur and if you want to be heard by the one that can change your whole life you need to have a two way relationship with him and see he's not going to test you uh, and, uh, for your level of obedience and to, to give you more or to give you that new opportunity or to make your life better you know, he'll sustain you because he said the rain will fall on the just and the unjust the same. But to get to a new level, to get something out of the ordinary from him, to go to a place where you really want to be in your life, you got to have a relationship with God and be tested by him, and you got to pass the test. But first of all, he's got to know that you are willing to be on his team and be obedient to him. But the first thing, is to get the relationship right where he can hear your murmuring and then and you murmur he will he will hand down he will he will give you a way out just like he did with the children of israel he gave them the manna he gave them a way out he gave them a way where they wouldn't be hungry anymore but they still couldn't be obedient in the gift so you, you it, it, at least if you're going to murmur at least give god a chance to fix your life by having a healthy and obedient relationship with him. That's for your life. Exodus 16, 1 through 4. Daily words, call to eternal. Bless you. See you upon the morning.